She is just out of control. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Yeah, let's make some noise. Here. Oh shit, you found it? So well hidden. Save lots. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. Maybe there's people having a romantic evening. Happy to find somebody in there. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Really? Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Man, I gotta look at a million and one things. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Hey, we should hang around. Just water. Nothing. Empty. Well, this is producing a lot of uh, results. like they expected to be here a while. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Maybe they just did a lot of shopping, Lee. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Hmm. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Oh, don't do this to me. I've made my circle. Yuck. I don't need that. I see nothing. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. I examine the save lots box. There we go. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably mm. food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Oh. 
Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's Being see if we good. can find anything useful. I'm not liking this. Get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. No. This isn't good. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Mm. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. Mm. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Uh. They didn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. You come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last oh, time. That was dark. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? Uh, this is gross. A little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me! What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, <laughs> right through. No. String them up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Oh. How may I assist you? God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Straight up murder. <sighs> <laughs> the achievement. Thank it's you for shopping shot, at the though, save lots. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. This guy is creeping me out. He's got such a rapey vibe about him. And, you know, there was the issue of rape. Apparently. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? 
Jesus, Danny. What? Uh, I you ain't getting about soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. So much sexual tension between them. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Don't mind them, it's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, well up, it's man. probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. I am deeply unsettled by this family. The heebie-jeebies. I, I still don't really understand the hat thing. How did she get Clementine's hat? Look at hay pile. It's an interesting bit of information could pop up there. Don't make it hard on me. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. My game experience is that much more complete now. Alright. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. I swear it's if okay, she's on the ahead. cows, that's going to be so fucked up. Whoa. Mm. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. Oh. We'll see, Clementine. She's just packing a parasite. This thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> I did that as a kid. I used to put them out for deer, and me and a friend of mine licked one. Hey there, Andy. They are salty. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. <laughs> um, oh, I, I feel reassured think, uh, now. We might eat. Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. I don't believe you. Mama's sitting up on the porch. How do you like that heck? cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Oh. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Her did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken trust? It? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. Maybe you in Maybe particular. Maybe a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. 
You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? No, <laughs> uh, but you go on ahead. Dude, why'd you turn that offer down? Pet the cow with Clementine. She looks skinny. Really? Have I missed anything? Crazy no, child. Not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. <laughs> What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. Ooh. Getting strict up in here. What else is there to do? How do you get out of here? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes right of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, yeah, get Lee. Paranoid. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. There's only one know. right answer. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang <laughs> on, man. Think this through. That's a way to build a lot. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. I'm a master locksmith. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Oh, that's racist. Well, you're, you know, urban? <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking nah, ain't a bad real lock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? It's the same problem as me. Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Andrew. Right away, Doc. So I'm gonna fuck around with this door right now. Watch these people be like totally trustworthy, and we're they're, we're freaking them out by all our looking around and casing the place. We just wanted to give you guys some food in exchange for gasoline. I can't anyone trust anybody these days. Look at those people, people garments. You're not gonna acknowledge that? There we go. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Ooh, I just observed that. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. I'll just say this, he's right over there. How does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Who's over there seducing it? Fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. You 
player. Like a rock. Like a planet. Like a fucking atom bomb. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. Hmm. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Yeah. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. I'm just now you two are just asking that. for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Look at those sad eyes. And that's as good a place as any to end this episode. Tune in next time when we continue this little investigation into the St. John's Dairy and find out what's really going on behind that barn door. Take care till then, and we'll see you later, guys.